Hello all, Zyceros here um, to explain how to build straight voltaic arcs in the game Robots. <sighs> Most people while playing Robots have noticed that the voltaic arc, when made, keeps the relative position of two things, which means that in most cases it is incredibly crooked. <laughs> now, this one here was one that I created earlier and is relatively straight. Um, it was created with one of the two techniques that I'm going to show you now. So, this is how a voltaic arc works. It keeps the relative position of the two joining um, connection points. <laughs> now, to make something like this, you need a few extra blocks and whatever you're trying to connect. Now, the first technique is merely to lay them along the ground and connect some blocks in between where you want to do the connection. So for instance, I want to connect this elbow to the end of this, uh, of this left elbow. Now, I've put the blocks in, but now I can't make the voltaic connection because the connection points of the left elbow and the right elbow have been taken up by the blocks. So what you do is you disconnect the middle blocks and move them to one side. Like so. If the block decides to move. Then you make the connection. This allows me to move this using the voltaic arc. Now, the second technique I'm going to show you can be done without needing the ground, however it does require slightly more blocks. What you do is instead of you use one of the other connection points instead of the one that you're trying to make a voltaic arc with. Obviously this will not work if whatever you're trying to connect only has one connection point. You'll have to use the ground if that's the case. See, now that I've connected it, and the connection points that I want to connect, say, the, l the other plunger on this elbow, and the right side of this um, continuum, are free. So I can make the connection, like so, and remove the blocks that I did not want to be part of the system. Now, I have a second one that was made without requiring the ground at all. This means that I can create voltaic connections in almost any situation provided I have a few spare blocks to play with while I'm doing this. So I hope this has helped someone. Um, it definitely was useful for me for trying to create some outlandish designs, despite the fact they never seem to work, and can be very helpful in block sensitive environments. S for instance, if you want to make something really big and you only have four or five blocks. But anyway, that's me signing off.